Welcome to the National Heritage List of Glasshouse Mountains. The question is often asked, are these mountains the remnants of old volcanoes? The short answer is no, they are not volcanoes. They're actually magma, or molten rock, forced into intrusions that then formed and matured underground. These intrusions were exposed by erosion over time. Volcanoes are formed above ground and tend to disintegrate once they have become extinct over a relatively short period of time. I'll explain a bit more about that later. The Glasshouse Mountains consist of two types of rock, rhyolite and trachyte. Rhyolite, or commandite, is a very hard rock, similar to granite. It is often rich in quartz and alkali feldspars, plus a silica content. Nagungun, tibragargan and canaurin are primarily rhyolite. Trachyte is a very fine-grained rock, similar to rhyolite, but with less quartz. Mount Biwa is primarily trachyte. Let's go up and have a look. What a great view from up here. In the Triassic period, 210 million years ago, the Glasshouse area was prone to volcanic eruptions when the Australian crustal plate was stretched by tectonic forces. The formation of the Glasshouse Mountains started some 31 billion years ago with a massive volcano erupting southwest of Mulaney and these eruptions continued from time to time for another 4 million years. This resulted in several layers of basalt eventually forming the Mulaney and Budrum Plateaus. What relationship the Mulaney eruptions had to the forming of the Glasshouse magma intrusions is a bit of a guess. However, it's feasible that these continuing upheavals resulted in the opening of fissures below the surrounding landscape. Whatever the cause, these fissures existed and filled with magma, which can separate by chemical reaction into rhyolite and trachyte. These magma-filled fissures gradually cooled to form sills, dikes and laccoliths. During the next 25 million years, give or take a couple of thousand years, the surrounding lands burst sedimentary sandstone gradually eroded to expose the iconic Glasshouse Mountains. Geologists believe the land surface at the time was some three to four hundred metres above the present level, with only Mount Biwa forcing itself above the surface, but without enough force or fluidity to erupt as a volcano. The Mulaney Volcano, meanwhile, eroded away completely during this time. Can you believe that the surface of the Earth was once 300 metres above me? Way up there! Magma intrusions as geological phenomena are not that unusual. It's believed they are continuing even today beneath the Earth's crust. What is unique in our region is the exposure of the solidified magma by the erosion of the surrounding softer rock and sandstone. This has caused the spectacular panorama that is the Glasshouse Mountains. I hope I've answered the question we asked at the beginning and explained why the Glasshouse Mountains are not extinct volcanoes, but something even more rare. Come and explore Australia's national heritage list of Glasshouse Mountains, the spiritual heart of the Sunshine Coast. Like me, You'll be captivated by them. Come for a day, come for a stay.